Please be seated. And now is the time to share our joys and concerns. Do we have some joys and concerns to like to share? Yes. We, we had the handle mic. Would you like to bring the mic? Okay. So it was it was very exciting to watch him cross, go across the stage. Um, but was what was even more exciting is the oldest person there that graduated was 83 years old. And it just shows the, the love and, that they have for learning. And it doesn't matter what your age is, you're never too old to go for your goals. So that was pretty special. The other joy that I have to share, um, I know a lot of you have watched my son Wes's um, progress as he's, as he's really focused on health. Right now at this very minute, he is in Washington, D.C., running the um, Mar Marines Marathon. <laughs> So right now he's running 26.2 miles, <laughs> when a lot of us would have a hard time walking that. Um, this is the second marathon this year, and he had gotten sick um, a little while ago that he didn't think he was going to be able to do it, and he said it might not be at 100%, but I'm doing it because I'm not giving up on my dreams of continuing it. And his goal is to travel around the world, Tokyo, London, all of those places, and run marathons is one of his goals, to travel the world by doing that because he can do that now. Thank you. I think it's a joy that uh, uh, Church World Service is not only blankets. It's, uh, it's helping all over the world. From Fond du Lac, everywhere in the world, Church World Service can be helping. Thank you. Just want to, among all the joys that have been expressed, uh, certainly all of us being here, and I want to just remind us to have prayers for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. As we know, uh, Phil Corbin lost a, a good friend in our uh, connection there in Ukraine early in the Russian invasion, and we, uh, we continue to pray for those folks there. Thank you. Other? First, um, South Korea with that terrible human stampede, it's unbelievable. And two, next week you're not going to see me in church. Two of my buddies, Karen, and David Schauper celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary from in Kiwaska. It's one thing to grow old, but it's very good to grow old with friends. Thank you. That means. Other? Okay. It was also great joy to, to be together, work together yesterday at the Selling United Methodist Church, lead the other United Methodist Church in town with this event, truck or treat. It was so great. More than 700 reach out our publicity postcard. That is a great number. That is a fantastic work. It's not competition between churches. It's just to go together Focusing to reach out the community. It is possible. It is possible. And the time will come when we see again the great things God made for the Salem United Methodist Church. Thank you for your faithful contribution. And also, I am very glad to hear the news. The lift is coming up. And thank you for your support with that offering for our capital campaign. 
If you don't do now, until now, please, you have the last chance. Go through your check and put the amount and sign it and put in the coming offering moment. Thank you for your contribution. Now we are going to pray together. Lord, thank you for your love and grace. Thank you for the moment you gave us the opportunity to serve those in our community, for the life, for those who spend their entire life to serve the other. Thank you, Lord. And now we are very grateful, our church, to make possible the mission from Fondulat to reach out the world. Thank you for this faithful action. And also, we continue prayer for our world, for those leaders to get the right and wisdom decision to keep the peace and well-being for the all human beings. Especially, we pray for those families, persons, children, and all persons in Ukraine they suffer that violence, and we continue to support them by our prayer, and also through the United Methodist Church effort, we continue to support as a spiritual and materials to them. And now we enjoy the anniversary wedding for our brothers and sisters. That is amazing happen to continue believe in the marriage relationship. Thank you for the years they enjoy together as an expression of the love. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be together in the Lord's prayer with me, please. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for time is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now is the time for the present to the Lord the, our offerings. The offerings as, as, as one expression of our commitment to the Lord to use the, our resources to make possible of the mission of the church. Not only in Fond du Lac, it's around the world. That is a very good action for us. Thank you for your faithful step and for your generosity. Really, really appreciate. Through this action, our church is able to continue the develop the mission of the, of the Christ, made disciple for Jesus Christ to the world to transform the world through our actions, faithful action. Thank you. Usher will come, please.
offertory prayer. God of many blessings, you come to us as a Christ come to Zacchaeus, that salvation may come to our homes to show us the power of your love when we stand at the watch post of our lives, you need us to share a vision of hope and justice. May the offering we bring before you is a sign of our commitment to lead your vision and to share your generosity with our world. Come to us, abide in our homes, and work within this offering that all might know your love and justice. Amen. Please be seated. Our first reading this morning comes from 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 1 through 4 and 11 through 12. From Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God our Father and in the Lord Jesus Christ, Grace and peace to all of you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, we must always thank God for you. This is only right because your faithfulness is growing by leaps and bounds and love that all of you have for each other is increasing. That's why we ourselves are bragging about you in God's churches. We tell about the endurance and faithfulness in all the harassments and trouble that you have put up with. We are constantly praying for you for this, that our God will make you worthy of his calling and accomplish every good, desire, and faithful work of his power. Then the name of our Lord Jesus will be honored by you, and you will be honored by him, consistent with the grace of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Our second reading is from Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. Jesus entered into Jericho and was passing through town. A man there named Zacchaeus, a ruler among tax collectors, was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he couldn't because of the crowd. So he ran ahead of him and climbed up a sycamore tree so that he could see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When Jesus came to that spot, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay in your home today. So Zacchaeus came down at once, happy to welcome Jesus. Everyone who saw this grumbled, saying, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone, I repay them four times as much. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this household because he too is a son of Abraham, the human one come to seek and save the lost. Praise be to God. At this time, we are going to sing our hymn, number 534, Be Still My Soul.
prayer for illuminations. In your song, you seek out and say the laws. O oh God, and invite us to the banquet of your eternal home. Visit your people with the joy of salvation, that we may rejoice in the riches of your forgiveness and reach out in welcome to share with others the feast of your love. Amen. Please be seated. Today, salvation has come to his household. The last Sunday, we learned that a tax collector goes to pray in the temple. Remind? We knew they were not allowed to participate in any activities because they were considered traitors. As a sinner, he didn't expect to be in the temple because he was excluded from participating in all social, spiritual, or other community events. The life of Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, the Gospel of Luke speaks today of Zacchaeus was the chief tax collector and he resided in Jericho. Zacchaeus was a rich person with many material goods. Zacchaeus was responsible to the authority of the Roman Empire to supervise the work of the others tax collector in the city. Zacchaeus had heard that Jesus had the reputation to meeting with sinners and tax collector. Zacchaeus lived with a feeling of emptiness. His life was not complete. He felt desperate because something was missing to his fully life. Zacchaeus meeting with Jesus, with this emptiness fell, moved Zacchaeus to find Jesus, and he found because he searched with all his heart to satisfy his desire to find the Lord, Zacchaeus claimed a tree confident that something new would happen that day. And since he was not allowed to participate in any social activity with other community members, Zacchaeus, with determination, climbed the tree to Jesus. Imagine that picture. Zacchaeus is an example of those who are burdened, thirsting, and hungry to have that com communion with the Lord. Zacchaeus found grace and timely held to reach the mercy of the Lord. Zacchaeus received Jesus in his house. For surprise, Jesus asked him to come down from the tree because today I'm going to your home. Zacchaeus sees everyone with a compassionate and merciful heart, even in hiding in sinful places. Nobody can hide him for Jesus. Nobody. 
special. Jesus sees people who are in need and seek him. This called my attention, that Jesus called Zacchaeus by his name, which is not the first time he does don so. I also call, he also called the other disciple by his name. Jesus invited himself to go to Zacchaeus' house and spend a few hours with him. Zacchaeus prepared the house with a great joy on his heart because he will receive Jesus at this moment. When Zacchaeus opened the door of his heart and the door of his house, there was a remarkable transformation experience in his life and the life of the family. This is an expression like my house and I will serve the Lord. The conversion and transformation of Zacchaeus were complete. From that moment, on the joy he now has is so great that no material well-being can give it. Zacchaeus now has everything he needs to live a joyful life. The gift of salvation begins with a deep process of change and conversion in the life of Zacchaeus and his family. Zacchaeus recognized that his relationship with others were broken. And now he repented and promised to change. The change leads Zacchaeus to have a new direction in his life. He will give half of, the, of his goods to the poor, pray, pay for tithes more than those whom he has defrauded. Now Zacchaeus and his family enjoy the right to be descendant of Abraham. This new brought joys and happiness to the whole family of Zacchaeus and the families of those people who had been affected by Zacchaeus' business. A gift of salvation received because Zacchaeus was decided to use his fortune according to God's will to do good for others, especially for the poor. Zacchaeus had neglected to look to the side and discover that there were another people he could love, help, and serve as a neighbors. But what is more striking is that Zacchaeus assumed responsibility for him that he had obtained that fortune, not only by a result of the honest work, but also accept that there are some who he has defrauded, and therefore publicly agreed to repay up for to four more times, and this action is a gesture that he made voluntarily. Jesus did not ask him to, to change. Just Jesus invited himself into Zacchaeus' house. I guess at that moment when Zacchaeus went into the family and told them, clean the house, rearrange the, the stuff we had here, and please prepare, I guess, a coffee and cookies for Jesus is coming today. 
That is my consideration. In the few hours, Jesus has a, a simple conversation with him. A simple conversation. It was a friend. Because Jesus is the expression of the God grace, visible expression of the God grace. And the grace brings the salvation for all humanity. Even Zacchaeus was excluded from the community. The grace of God brings into the community to him. That is a grace of God. The other might be different for us, but they are child of God. They are child of God. So the grace God work in our heart to open our heart, open our mind, open our door, and invite others to come and be in worship together as a child of God, as a family of God. That is the God grace. Work with the Zacchaeus, with the God grace, Jesus invite himself to be in the house of Zacchaeus as an expression, visible expression, that safe. And that salvation was visible in the gospel look early, from the beginning. Remember, when the angel announced salvation to Mary. It's a physical. It's a visible. Salvation was visible from the infancy of the Lord when the shepherd went to see the newborn baby Jesus. Salvation was visible inside the temple when his parents brought the child to present him. And Simon said, my eyes have seen your salvation. Jesus is the salvation of God walking among the people. Jesus is the salvation of God walking among the people. Zacchaeus hurried and came down, for I must stay at your house today. God's salvation is near today. I remember some times ago when I made my profession of the faith. When, in that time, God used my wife to call my attention by faith to receive as Jesus Christ as my Savior. Even I knew anything around the theology. I practiced before, you know me. But that is the moment as different. When she lead me in the prayer, I don't feel nothing special. It was a simple prayer. I expect too the heaven will open and the Holy Spirit came down in that as a light dove and put right here in my shoulder. And I don't see that expression. I expect to the earthquake coming and shake my house. I don't saw that. I expecting the strong wind coming and I don't saw that. I said, that's all? She said, that's all. You will see. <laughs> that's work. It's a long journey process. Walking by faith. The conversion of Zacchaeus is an example that the world changed when one single person voluntarily accepts to be transformed by the grace and love of God. One person at the time. Focus in one person at the time. Help the person, the neighbor, your friends, your family members to accept the God grace and receive Jesus Christ as a savior. That made the difference. One person at the time. One person. Responded to the call of Jesus, Zacchaeus put all his assets to help with the work of the mission in the kingdom of God. Jesus declared 
that Zacchaeus is happy man because he is now safe and he and those in his house. My house and I will serve the Lord. His conversion impacted the life of the other family members because now they help the poor. This is how Jesus declared that now Zacchaeus is the son of Abraham. In conclusion, with the conversion and transformation of Zacchaeus, Jesus is fulfilling the promise of coming into the world to give salvation to those who had been lost. Zacchaeus is an excellent example of, Jesus, of what Jesus asked his disciple one day. Sell what you have, give to the poor, then come and follow me. And this is the promise that we have confessed that if you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. This is the prayer I made when I said Jesus is my Savior. This is the prayer. That's all. If you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. This is only the prayer we need to do with those are around our life. And invite them to receive the God's grace and say, can I pray you? Can I pray for you? And they say, yes, okay. If you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. Amen. And now, during our reflect time, Consider the God grace saved us and through our action to spread the gospel, invite the other to invite, to receive the grace of God, they will be saved. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 419.
remember that God grace offered to us the salvation. As a child of God and believer in Jesus Christ, when we go out into the world, we are the light bringed through our action, through our witness, through our service to those in our community, the opportunity to see how great is our Savior. And that's his offer for them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go in peace. Have a good lunch, a good day. Continue prayer for our church and for me. Thank you.